Hi guys, welcome back and happy Saturday. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful week. I did not, my week was long. And so I'm so excited that it is the weekend and hopefully you're just as excited as me that it is the weekend. Um, so today we're gonna do a full face of makeup and it's going to be blue themed. My last video was a little janky, so hopefully this one's a lot better and hopefully you watch this one a little bit more. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy and watch this next video. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do, just like last time, is prime your eyelids. And you're just gonna put a dot on each eye. Again, I use the Milani um, eyeshadow primer um, to prime my eyes. Just rub that in. And then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild concealer in the shade 80, 820A. And put that all over my lid to give it a base for my eyeshadows. And we're just gonna blend that out. If you can't hear, it's like storming or yeah it's just the wind the wind is going crazy in missouri right now yes i live in misery that's where i live not kansas missouri um but you'll blend it out and it'll kind of look like that then you're going to take a fluffy brush and you're going to take a very light tan color any light color to set it And kind of look like that. Nice and clean. Then you're going to take a, I want to say a fluffy brush. It is a fluffy brush, but not too fluffy. It kind of looks like that. And I'm going to take the shade New Wave, and it's from the High Tide ColourPop collection. So I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to put that all over my lid because you're gonna end up cutting the crease anyway, so just make sure you get it all over the lid. Grab a little bit more. You can probably hear my husband in the background playing his Call of Duty game. <laughs> If you have a husband or you have a boyfriend that likes Call of Duty and likes to watch people stream, his name is Sir Zilla on Twitch. And it would be greatly appreciated if you went and liked his videos or subscribed to his little Twitch channel. He would probably appreciate that a lot too. So you'll kind of get something like that. More of like a roundish shape. Just follow your eyelid, how it goes. If you have hooded eyes, I go above my hood just so that when I do cut my crease, it's pretty apparent that I cut my crease. And I'm gonna do the th same thing to the other side. Grab a little bit more. And I, I kind of tap it out a little bit and if I got too much and I just, I blend out the top just to make the edges not so sharp. So you'll kind of end with something like this. Hey, it matches my shirt. I mean, my shirt's green, but it kind of looks like the same thing but the next thing that you're gonna do is take that same brush and go in with like a darker like a darker blue 
whatever you'd like. I'm going to go in with this one right here. And I'm going to put that right over that same color. Give it a little bit of dimension. Do the same thing to the other side. And you'll have something kind of like that. But you'll, you can see the light shade and the dark shade and how it gives it just a little bit of dimension. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is cut my crease. Um, the only thing that I do to cut my crease is I use this and a Q-tip. And I go about to the middle of my eye. And then I just wipe off the excess. Because whenever you put colors on top of it, it could mix and it's going to look funky. And you're not going to get the colors that you want. So I'm going to cut my crease and I'll be right back. Um, and I will go over that same spot that I just cut so that it has a base for the rest of my eyeshadows. The same thing to the other side. If you have husbands or you have a boyfriend that you live with, whenever he plays games, does he like scream very loud <laughs> to where the neighbors could probably hear him yelling at his teammates about where to go and how to do things, where to shoot, where he died? If you do, let me know because I don't want to be the only one. I love him though. <laughs> okay, so you'll kind of get some base kind of like that. And then after you get your base, you'll set it so you don't get a bunch of concealer right on the top of where you cut your crease. So you'll take your other fluffy brush and just set it with the tan color or white color that you have. Next thing you're going to do is take another brush, another fluffy brush. I just use fluffy brushes. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't use like proper brushes for all of my makeup, but I'm going to go in with this really royal blue color. It has a little bit of sparkle to it and I'm going to put that right in the corner. The corner of the cut crease, I should say. And I'm just going to tap it so that it has a little bit more pigment to it when I apply it. You just saw my curtain move. That was my dog right below. <laughs> And she's trying to eat the trash. <laughs> Gotta love a laugh. So I have three dogs. I know, kind of crazy, but I do. I have a Samoyed, and he turns one in May. And then I have a Yorkie, who is our oldest. She turns 12 in September. And then we have a black lab. Did I tell you what my other dog was? A Yorkie. <laughs> the 12 year old is a Yorkie. And then we have a black lab that is one. She just turned one in February. We got her a steak and I made her a pumpkin cake. 
they are pretty spoiled. Okay, you're gonna get something that kind of looks like that with the dark contrast. And then you're gonna take another fluffy brush that doesn't have a lot of other eyeshadows on it and you're gonna go in with a light blue or kind of white shade. I'm gonna go in with this kind of shimmery light blue color and I'm gonna put that right where the white is and blend out the rest of the dark blue into it. And if it's messy, don't worry about it because you're going to put a little bit of sparkle on top anyways. And if you mess up and you get more of the light blue over to the dark, you'll just take another brush and put a little bit more and just go back and forth. So you'll kind of get something that looks like that. And ignore all the fallout. I don't have a great base that keeps it from falling out. Um, but the next thing you're going to do is take whatever glitter that you want. Um, I use the e.l.f. glitters. I'm gonna put that right on top of that light blue. And I go a little extra with mine, and I'm going to take the glitter from the deeply, deeply, madly, or truly deeply madly collection from ColourPop, and I'm going to use this color right here. Take a flat brush and just add that. So you're going to kind of get something like that. The next thing that I'm going to do is my eyeliner. And I don't wipe any of this off until after I'm done with my eyes. So I'm going to do my eyeliner next. And I use the L'Oreal Paris Caribbean Black Eyeliner. And I also usually use the e.l.f. But I kind of want it really, really dark. So I'm going to use this one instead. And I don't take my eyeliner all the way in just because like I don't like how it looks with my eye shape. But you are more than welcome to take it all the way in. It's kind of whatever your preference is. So 
So you're gonna get something kind of like that. And I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the other side and I added some lashes. And the next thing that we're gonna do is the brows. So I don't do anything extreme or crazy when I do my brows. I do have a good shape to them and I also have a pretty decent, I have a decent amount of hair on my eyebrows. So I don't do too much, I will fluff them out. And I use the, for the life of me, I can't remember these names. It's the Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil from NYX. And I will just feather them out. Oh, and I also, for some reason, I cannot do makeup without a little bit of black. So I added a touch of black to the very corner after I added my um, eyeliner and just to the corner and I put a little bit of blue, that same royal blue that we use for the corner of the cut crease right underneath my eyes. And then I wiped away all the excess, just right underneath my eyes. But anyways, we're gonna do the brows. So all I do is outline them and then fill them in just like my last video. And you'll kind of get something like that. I'm gonna fill it in just a little bit more. And then when I'm done, I'm going to take my Milani um, Conceal and Perfect and I'm gonna go right underneath and conceal the bottom of my brow so it looks a little bit more sharp. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've concealed and I have filled in both of my brows. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is take a Q-tip and go right underneath and blend out the concealer that I put underneath my eyebrows. So all that's left is that little sharp line. And don't worry if it's too light, you're gonna put a little bit of highlight right at the bridge of your eyebrow. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my face. So I'm a little dramatic when it comes to my face. Just like I said in my last video, I use three different primers. So I use the plump right back. I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. I use the Mint Melt from e.l.f. I also use the Bright Side um, Illuminating Primer from Milani. And I use more of this one just because it gives me a little bit more of a glow. And I just rub them together and I blend them out. And you don't have to use as much as I do, but I like the finished look of using all three. They're all really good primers separately too, but I like using all three together. And using all three, it allows me to put more um, foundation on my forehead than I usually do because it gets so dry. Um, so I also like doing that as well. And then it kind of just starts to get pretty sticky. 
And so the next thing you're gonna do is take your foundation. I use the Tarte foundation. And I don't use a sponge. A lot of people use sponges. I don't, I don't like how the finished look looks, but I will use a sponge after I blend them out just to make it a little bit more of a finished look, but I don't use it to completely blend out my foundation. I will take my foundation brush and just blend it out. And I like the Tarte foundation because it's a it's a pretty high coverage foundation. And I do have a lot of redness and a little bit of acne, not too much anymore. I have a little bit on this side, you can't really tell, but I do have a little bit of acne. I, I do have pretty good skin and that's just due to my face routine. When I wash my face at night and in the morning, but after blending it out with the brush, I'll take a blending sponge and I'm going to just tap it into my face a little bit more. And after that, I will take my concealer and I use two. One's a little bit darker than the rest. And I'm gonna put that on the the darker shade on the outer part of my eye, under eye. And put that a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. And then I'll take my Wet n Wild concealer that's a lot lighter than my skin, of course. Um, and I'll put that right in the inner corner of my eye. It gives it a little bit more of a glow to me. And then I will take my sponge and I will blend it out. There it is. Just blend it out a little bit. And if you get a little bit, like I did, on top of the eyeshadow that you put, you can just put a little bit more after you're done. But not too much so you don't have a lot of fallout. And then the sides that I can't, like the inner corner that I can't get, I will brush out with just a fluffy brush. Do the same thing to the other side. And you'll kind of get something like that. And then I will take my e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. Again, nails are not practical whatsoever. So I'm gonna use a brush to open it. Got it. So I'm gonna take the second to darkest shade, which is this one. And I'll put that on my cheeks. Do the same thing to the other side. Put a little bit on your forehead and right underneath your chin. And whatever's left on your finger, I just put a little bit onto my nose. I have a pretty small nose, so don't contour it too much. So then I take my blending brush and blend that contour out. Right underneath the chin, on the cheeks. A 
little bit on my nose. Not too much. Okay, and then I use the um, Perfect Finish HD Power to set my highlight on underneath my eyes. And I just take a sponge and I'll put that right underneath my eyes and let it bake for a little bit. Usually I'll use my, like I said in my last video, usually I'll just use my Jaclyn Hill palette. <laughs> and I don't usually bake underneath my eyes, but I'm going to try this Perfect Finish HD Powder and see how I like it. But I'll probably go on top of it and use my Jaclyn Hill palette to make it a little bit brighter. Because so far it's not as bright as I usually have it. And then I'll take my angled brush and my Jaclyn Hill palette and do the probably, it's like second to darkest shade almost, this one right here of the browns. And I'll put that for my bronzer on my cheeks. Over my forehead and on the other side. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take my cream contour palette, not cream contour, but my cream blush palette and take a little bit on my finger and just put a little bit on my cheeks. It's pretty pigmented whenever you do put it on, so it doesn't need a lot for it to show up. Take my blending brush and I just tap it into my cheek. take another angled brush and wipe away that HD powder and then I'm going to take a little bit like I said of my Jaclyn Hill palette in that really light white shade this one right here I'm going to put that right underneath my under eye gives it a little bit more of a glow to me maybe it doesn't but I think it does It's almost just like my highlighter, but I use the ColourPop cream highlighter for my cheeks. And that's what I'm gonna do next. Put that right above. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then I take that brush that I use to conceal underneath my eyes and I'll dip a little bit into the cream contour and I'll put it right underneath my brows. And if I put too much, I just take the end of that same brush and I just blend it out pretty much. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to do is lipstick. I don't really wear a lot of lipstick, so if I'm putting it on wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, I just don't wear it that much, so I don't have a lot of shades or... How should I say this? I don't have a lot of shades since I don't wear it very often. So, I'm going to use these two on this lip balm. So, I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup Scandalous and the shade 13. It's kind of like a gray. And it's a matte finish lipstick. It's not really a lipstick. It's like a 
colored gloss almost, but it's just a matte finish. And I don't like the matte finish, so I'm going to put a gloss on top. I just like the color. And it goes on really smooth. It spreads pretty easily. So it'll dry up in a few seconds. I'm going to put a little bit of gloss right on top. And that is the finished look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys had so much fun with me today. If you like the makeup look, I will um, put down in the comments below what I used um, so that you can, don't have to go back in the video and fast forward and rewind and see what I used. Um, I will put it in the comments below, but I really hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and spend lots of time with your family and just have a good Saturday. Bye guys.